Hello everybody and welcome to the Suzuki School Show. Now don't worry, I haven't changed the whole podcast, but I am including in this podcast, which is the music podcast for Tao Tao Cup, all the lessons um, that are suitable for a podcast. I mean, you know, we're a TV show primarily. Um, so the, the new site, suzuki.school, will feature all of these podcasts anyway, so you can access them all. So that's really good news. Um, so what do I want to do today? Well, look, we're starting tomorrow morning, bright and early. I think I'm better. I've been struck down with a really horrible virus. I believe the whole of London was struck down with it, actually. Um, and it's been very, very unpleasant. But my viola books have just arrived. Now... At the Suzuki dot school, we are focusing on viola, cello, and piano. That's because I I can play those. Well, I mean, I haven't even started viola yet, but I'm pretty sure I can play it. Um, it's I wanted something that was a bit lighter than my cello. My cello is very heavy. I wanted something I could stand up and play. Um, I mean, you can stand up and play most things, can't you? Of course you can. But I wanted something that would show my dresses I really like that idea and you know once you've played once you play one string instrument you're going to find the transition so easy um I have played a bit of double bass in my time and I think really next year I will be getting the double bass as well so we'll be we'll be covering all things string how exciting um so let's just go over the introductory lesson for now for the principles of study and guidance from Suzuki Viola Method Book One, okay. So, we talk in terms of a child, but we're all children. We're children of the of the universe. So when I say child, I actually mean whoever's listening and whoever's learning. What's great about Suzuki is it's a very simple method that you know gets through to children very very quickly because children are very good at languages, very good at listening, they're very good at copying, but I personally think that Suzuki is a fantastic method also for adults. So, um, you know, that's really why I've embraced it. But I, we do, at the Suzuki School, we do all all styles and we're not totally focused on Suzuki. That would be foolhardy, especially after sort of book three. Um, so let's look at the principles of study and guidance. Four essential points for teachers and parents. Um, or for you, you know, if you're a self-motivated learner, so, one, the child should listen to the reference recordings every day at home to develop musical sensitivity. Rapid progress depends on this listening. Now, this is so, so important. And, of course, it's much easier over at the TV show to be listening and talking about and hearing. And if you can't get access to these recordings on YouTube, do pop along to the Suzuki School because you will have access to them there. Also, my um, lounges TV show, you'll be able to access lots and lots of really superb free material on there as well. So don't worry about that. You'll, the, there's plenty of scope for you to find these recordings if you're struggling a bit. Tonalisation, or the, this is number two, production of a beautiful tone. <gasps> oh, yes. You know, that, that thing when you hear a, a wonderful note how it's played by an expert and it, it just it's essential passionate experience is it not we all know this we know this it makes you tingle inside and the reason it does that is because the vibrations are all harmonizing with the strings adjacent but they're also harmonizing with your soul my friends let me tell you let me tell you that a little secret there Number three, constant attention should be given to accurate intonation, correct posture and the proper bow hold. And this is something we go on and on and on about. Now, when you become a proficient musician, these things are become so natural. But that's because you've been doing it for ages and you started at the beginning as you meant to go on. OK, so accurate intonation. If you're effing up royally on the intonation, you're making notes that don't sound nice. You need to address it immediately. Don't carry on. Correct posture, because you won't make a nice note if you're scrunched up or if you're in pain or anything like that. And the proper bow hold. Look, you know, the 
the weight of the bow in the correct held in the correct manner, the correct angle, is going to make your job as a musician much easier. Finally, number four. Parents and teachers and self-learners should strive to motivate the child or learner so he or she will enjoy practising correctly at home. So this motivation, how are we going to do that? Well, I'll tell you how I'm going to do it with you guys. I'm going to just be here every single day every minute of every single day and the lessons are going to be short, sweet, cute and contemporary. So, you know, mixing it up. Put on your favourite track in the right key and practice your scales over the top. We are going to be doing lots of that. Also, I'm going to motivate you by being a, a practice buddy. If you're not sure what a practice buddy is, that's um, an idea that I established quite some time ago which really if you play along with somebody makes the whole process of music learning just so much more exciting it's like being in a band constantly what could be better the worst thing is this is what my parents did it was a big mistake and I gave up playing for a long time as a child an older child because of the solitary nature of it I was a pianist I was made to practice on my own lengthy practice sessions Um, I was taken out of my peer group. All of these things, no way to go. Do not even consider, you know, forcing a child to do that. Um, Parents and teachers are are required with Suzuki Method to be there. One of you is required to be there. But different for adults who are, you know, a bit more assured about who they are and they don't need their friends quite so much perhaps but if you've got a boredom threshold that's pretty low you're not going to enjoy that um so through the experience i have gained in teaching young children for over 30 years this is not me speaking this is mr suzuki himself um i'm thoroughly convinced that musical ability can be fully cultivated in every child if the above four points are faithfully observed yeah i mean He's not wrong. I would say there are there are some other things that you can do f- for a, a, a more rounded performer. But, you know, for starting off early, a correct method, you can't really fault it. You're going to get results. That's, you know, if, if it's results you're after, this is the way to go. Um, musical ability is not an inborn talent, but an ability that can be developed. Now, this is this is a radical uh, supposition isn't it we we tend to think that people who are musical are, are just born gifted and that's that it's not true not in mr suzuki's mind um education for musical sensitivity every day children should listen to the recordings of the music they are currently studying the listening allows them to make rapid progress right well you know we've talked a bit about that already the children who have had not who have not had enough listening will lack musical sensitivity. Now, I like to do something else as well. I like to listen at different speeds, just to slow it down, because what the what happens then is that the child understands that they're playing the correct thing, even at their pace. So sometimes the speed of some of these things, you know, they're so quick and so... They're so removed from what the child is doing in class or the uh, the tutor, uh, the pupil, sorry, that it, it becomes a battleground because it, nothing's sounding. It's a bit like seeing somebody in your own image. You know, if we don't see people like us doing things, we don't think we can do them. So if we if we don't see this slow, this piece of music slowed down when that's all we can do, how do we know that we can play it? Well, a piece of music played slowly is a piece of piece of music played quickly it's just the same thing but if you can't see the wood for the trees do you see what i'm saying so that's just something i would add add to that um personally you know for my students um tonalization for beautiful tone um so the tonalization has been introduced into viola study as a new method of education and it's proved to be most effective so This, you know, I mean, the Suzuki method is tried and trusted and, you know, they experimented at the, uh, you know, 30 years ago. And these tips and projects, if you like, have proven to be successful. 
And that's why we're sticklers for them. Okay, group lessons. Now, this is something that's a bit hard in modern life, but it's something that the Suzuki School is quite keen to foster. So I will be putting together little mini orchestra and group practices and practice buddy sessions with myself because it's so much more fun. And these group lessons really should, if possible, be held once a week or twice a month. Okay, so think about that. We can do anything we want on Zoom and Skype. We are not restricted. Uh, You know, digital tech is here to stay and it is our tool. It's our bit. We can do what we like with it. So, you know, really think about that. Private lessons to develop ability. Well, you're going to get private lessons every day with me. They're, they may not be a lesson in the traditional sense where you, th- you know, you are in the room with me, but you're going to have instruction every day and you can watch 10 episodes in one afternoon if you want, or you can watch one a week. But I would suggest you watch one, at least one a day. OK, that's what I would suggest. And these, my lessons are not long. Find yourself five minutes. Come say hello to me over at the Suzuki School. It's going to be great fun, honestly. When a child can perform a piece satisfactorily um, and given a new piece, B, he should not drop piece A. OK. So continuously playing the the pieces that you played, you know, a week before, a month before, a year before. Now, uh, what I tend to do is, if I, especially if I haven't practised for a while, if I've been really busy with gigs or whatever... I will sit myself down and open up Suzuki Method book one and just play the whole book just as a warm up and then play all my scales as a warm up. Um, And you could do that for any book, theoretically. I mean, once you get past, you know, certain levels, the pieces get longer. So playing them becomes more arduous, I would say. So, you know, but be aware, you know, have some go to's that you that you like to use as warm up, but warm ups, but guys, mix them up a bit, mix them up. Hello, cat. Um, mothers and children should always observe the private lessons of others, other children. Well, this is not necessarily so much about us. Lessons should vary in length according to the needs of the child. Now, this is very important. For all of us children, sometimes a child may have a short lesson, stop and watch another child, and then return for more instruction. Use your sensibility and your inner child to understand when you've had enough. When you're bored, when it's no longer sinking in, they do say if you're swatting up for an exam, 20 minute sections, we all have our limit. And it doesn't mean you have to go away and not come back till the next day. You can get up, look out the window, make a cuppa, you know, um, do something different, make a quick phone call, go, go if you have to go on TikTok, go on TikTok, um, catch up and then get, get back to it. Have a five minute break, get back to it. Listen to your inner child and what it's telling you. Is it telling you that you're cantankerous and moody now and, and this isn't benefiting you? Or is it telling you that you're keen and you want to do some more? Um, Etc, etc. So there we go. That's the introduction to the Suzuki School for Viola method. And um, I will be doing piano tomorrow. And my viola hasn't arrived. So I'm not going to be... I mean, there's a lot of crossover. um, So I'm not going to be doing viola for another... At least another month. Because it's Yamaha clearly making it for me and then uh, it's got to be shipped over so um yeah i've got to be a bit patient but we're going to be getting on with cello and piano tomorrow so um how exciting i love suzuki school